The Bastion is an enduring local icon in the third oldest city in British Columbia, Nanaimo. Built in 1853, the three floors of the Bastion were skillfully crafted using the traditional woodworking techniques by workers of the Hudson Bay Company. Over the years, politics and land deals saw this sturdy wooden fort moved twice. Today, it's Nanaimo's most recognizable landmark. While the Bastion's timbers are original, the interior represents the activities of the early mining post from 1853 to 1862. Joseph William McKay, best known as the founder of Nanaimo, BC, and one of the most successful Métis men to rise to the ranks of the Hudson Bay Company in the late 19th century, is said to have been part of building the Bastion. McKay's rise to the top ranks of HBC, a rare occurrence for Indigenous employee at the time, and his role in establishing the mining settlement that became Nanaimo, as well as his business endeavors and political career as an MLA from Vancouver Island, and later with the Department of Indian Affairs. It's said McKay's success at the HBC was due to his relationship with Douglas, noting that Douglas himself was of mixed race and had a Métis wife. The history books say that Douglas took a real liking to McKay when they first met in Oregon. In 1852, McKay, at the time a 23-year-old HBC clerk, was ordered by Douglas to establish a settlement in Namno Bay and get the coal mines operational. For the next two years, McKay oversaw the construction of a housing, school, sawmill, mines, warehouses, harbor facilities, and most famously, the Bastion. Um, there used to be like a mannequin up there and people would come in knowing no one had been in here for the week and it was like turned around or things had moved a little bit. Um, just the other week, one of my coworkers, who also works in here, was opening up. She was on the second floor, and she kept hearing footsteps on the third floor. Yeah. And no one was in here. Like this was like 10:30 when we're not open yet. And um, as they were, like as soon as their head poked past those, like the floor, they stopped. So there's that. Um, wow. We're not sure exactly. I. We have like predictions, we're working on figuring out who it is. I can't remember his name, but it's someone who we believe was in here like after the company had left and had like kind of his own, sort of like his museum. He'd bring his friends here to do things. Um, he, you know, just, he spent more time here than with his family. That's right. why we kind of think that it might be him. Um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Last weekend when I was in here, there was a mother and a daughter, and the mother, when she walked in, she was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh yeah, you can like, you know, go walk up, do your thing. Um, second floor was like kind of feeling it. Third floor, she got very dizzy. I, I mean, for like, I have vertigo, so like I usually get dizzy, but also not that I'm a firm, like I feel all these things, but when I'm in old buildings, I usually like can sort of sense that yeah. there's stuff. But um, yeah, and then I had another guy today that was like, I didn't feel anything. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Um, and yeah, her daughter asked me about the basement because there's a basement to this. Um, and I was like, well, we think that like a person or two are kept there overnight. 
Um, it wasn't like the Dachshund was never jailed or anything, um, but I would think like maybe like in transit to going to the actual jail or whatever. And she was like, "Oh, I just did the tarot card reading and like that." And I was like, "Okay, like would it like that's cool. <laughs> that is cool." But I don't know like how civil like how accurate that would be too. Right. If you wanted to use any of that, I'm just like telling you a few things that have happened For the story, like, yeah. over the past few weeks. But um, and the yeah. cannonball one was it secure? Yeah, they're in like uh, when you go up, you'll see it's like a, a disc that's probably like this high, and they're grooves that the balls rest in. Oh, wow. They don't move like they never move. <laughs> so, oh, wow. like I was saying, like no one was in here. He had checked like before we bolt the door. Well, we bolt the door, yeah. check that no one's in here, and like there was no one. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's bizarre. <laughs> it is very bizarre, and the way I, I like that we've been described it is like it's like thunder it's like a massive like bang and this rolling sound is like the thunder like rumbles like when uh yeah so there's that wow <laughs> with uh, the school programs we will like simulate it but we don't do that with the public for a few different reasons <laughs> safety exactly yeah cool yeah <laughs> i always have people that come in be like is this haunted or the things you can tell me about it so Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go check out this. So I've been employed at the Bastion for a few years now and have experienced some little creepy events. So um, on my shifts, um, especially at night, you can hear what they have is a little cannon inside on the second floor and you can hear the ball rolling from the cannon um, as if something is moving it. I've also experienced seeing a lady in a white dress and she kind of roams around the bastion. People have also experienced or said they've experienced her presence there as you can feel like this ghostly kind of presence. Um, it is very, <laughs> it is a little bit, it's a little bit nerve wracking, a little bit creepy. Um, some of the things you wouldn't expect to like experience that but um and how do you know it's not your co-workers when the the ball's rolling and you're hearing footsteps we can like feel a presence in the bastion and it doesn't feel like a human presence there like somebody like physical it definitely feels like more of a ghostly kind of presence um it's more of like a sense you can kind of sense like there's someone else there with you um, maybe you like turn around and think it's like your coworker when mm. like nobody's there. Um, just like weird little things that would like happen such as the ball rolling or lights flickering or downstairs when people also hear footsteps. And how does that make you feel? Um, we feel, I know I feel definitely like a little bit nerve wracking because it <laughs> is like Oh, okay, is like somebody there with me when literally nobody is there at all and it's just you or maybe another coworker and they're not even 
in the same area as you are so it definitely is nerve-wracking to experience that um, I've heard other people's kind of stories where they say they've heard or experienced the same things with like the presences and especially like the woman in the white dress that's typically the lady that people see is a woman like roaming around in a white dress so it is a little bit nerve-wracking just the feeling of like something else there with you have you ever seen the man that they talk about the the metis man that built it I have not seen him, but other people have claimed that they have seen him. His loud boots, footsteps, like walking around on the floors or like coming up the stairs. So it is like some people have experienced his presence as well. So it was said that Kanika Pete had um, murdered his wife, his daughter, as well as his wife's mother and father and he was held in the bastion afterwards and typically people say that they have seen or heard his wife as well as seen or heard him um, typically he is known by his big loud clunking boots and a swinging sound of an axe and his wife is typically known as the woman in white that kind of roams around and you can like feel both their presence uh, around the basement not a lot of people have gone down there. Um, I myself have not gone down there just because I don't feel too comfortable. I would maybe if there was other people around and they wanted to go down there, but other people have said that they've heard him, his boots downstairs or like feeling like he's gonna come upstairs and it's just a really strange presence. So typically no one really wants to go down in the basement. Wow. And when they show up, do you feel, I, so you said you feel their presence. How is that? Do you feel like cold or do you feel somebody touch you or what is exactly do you feel? Yeah, you can feel like an energy. So when I'm there, I feel like this energy, like a presence of just something very cold and almost dark. Like it does feel like a darker kind of energy, um, maybe like more so negative energy. Maybe that's from Kanika Pete. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels like a dark energy. It's very uncomfortable to be around and you kind of get like spooked in the shivers, but it is like a cold presence for sure. Wow. How, do you like, so do you have to work there alone ever? <laughs> um, yes, I have worked, um, there by myself and it has been near the nighttime and every time near night. It seems like you can hear more so or you can feel more of a presence so it definitely feels a lot stronger near midday like later in the day you can definitely feel like a stronger presence yikes <laughs> oh yeah several people have also felt like the same thing or have claimed to like hear the same sounds so it's definitely like we're not hearing things there's definitely like a presence or something that is just roaming around or stuck to that specific place awesome and how do you feel about ghosts and stuff like are you afraid of ghosts or do you believe in ghosts or honestly I kind of do believe in ghosts myself just because I've experienced lots of paranormal kind of activity um, not just at the bastion but other places as well so I can definitely feel um, it feels like a head like in my head I can feel like an overwhelming kind of feeling like it's an overwhelming energy or just an overwhelming feeling of like so much energy coming at my body it feels like or just the sense of like cold or touch or something kind of around you so I have experienced quite a bit of paranormal activity so I do <laughs> believe the things that people say about the bastion as well cool and are you empath or are you psychic at all um, no, I'm not psychic. That'd be really cool if I was, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not psychic, but, um, yeah, um, I do feel a lot, so I definitely feel the energies when they do come up. Nice. So standing up here in the bastion, we're on the third floor where they purportedly have been hearing footsteps and feelings of presences and I definitely feel something up here. I feel kind of dizzy and sick as I did on the second floor. Heavy presence. 
and harder breathing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely there's something here. We don't know who or what, but um, yeah, gonna find out. So in here, there's definitely a feeling of dizziness and uh, short of breath. So there's something over here, especially when I came closer to the cannon wall, where they have been talking about um, cannibals falling off with these things here at the bottom, and then uh, rolling on the floor. Definitely feel like it. Maybe it's this guy. Yes. Joseph William McKay, who was says the fur trader founder. He feels like he's here. I feel there's anybody else. There's definitely somebody in here. Whew. I'm really, really light headed. Oh, I might have to go downstairs. I'm getting an impression. I'm getting the impression of a male figure, male presence. Older, older times, 1800s, more likely on my left side. That's usually where I feel presence of um, a male spirit and short, shorter than me. Yeah. You can come up. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, no, yeah. it's okay. I was just giving my impressions because I definitely feel the presence and it's over here. Yeah. So I was asking if it was this, this gentleman here. We don't think that it's him. Yeah, it felt like somebody else, but definitely short stature. Yeah. And he felt like he was from the same era, the same yeah. time. Yeah. But he's more like this big and wider. Mm -hmm. Like, whew, I feel so dizzy. Yeah. And then short of breath. Yeah. And I went upstairs and I was like, whoa, okay, I got to get yeah. downstairs. That's, yeah, that's so I was like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that's So fine. it's like, how, but um, I can't tell if like, I'm so like short of breath because of this or because of other stuff.